It's 543 on a Tuesday. Welcome back to Get Up DC. It is almost time to set your clocks forward an hour. The clocks are jumping ahead on Sunday at 2 a.m. for daylight saving time. All right, and some of our viewers reached out uh, to us about a post popping up on social media. They asked if Congress has passed any legislation to make daylight savings time permanent. Adiana Till went to the experts to verify. If you dread changing the clocks twice a year, you're not alone. Last year, the Senate passed a bill to make daylight saving time permanent. But what happened to that bill? Are we still changing our clocks? Many Verify viewers, including Marietta, asked us if the U.S. government has officially made daylight saving time permanent. So let's verify. We went to these sources for an answer. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, only Congress can decide to make daylight saving time permanent year round. In March, Florida Senator Marco Rubio reintroduced the Sunshine Protection Act. The bill would make daylight saving time permanent starting on November 5th, 2023. That means in November, you wouldn't change your clocks or fall back. But as of March 6th, this bill hasn't been voted on in the Senate, and it would still have to make its way through the House and be signed by the president. So we can verify, no. The U.S. government hasn't made daylight saving time permanent. And yes, we're still springing forward on March 12th and falling back on November 5th. With your fast fact, I'm Ariande Till. And there you have it, but there are some cons to making daylight saving time permanent. And Chester, it all has to do with the darkness we wake up to in the morning, <laughs> and particularly kids. Yes, uh, so let's just think about how this will impact those who have to be out in the morning. I'm not talking about early in the morning, Larry and Abby. I'm talking about 651 sunrise on the 15th of November. We're still on daylight saving time. That becomes 7:51. That's nearly eight in the morning. So the kids would be going to the bus stop in the dark. It gets even worse on the 15th of December. Sunrise would become 8:19 in the morning, and the 15th of January, 8:25 would be our sunrise. So think about how late it is as the kids head to the bus stop, or you yourself. You're already already an early riser. You're up with us at this hour. Imagine having another two and a half to three hours of darkness before the sun even cracks above that uh, eastern horizon. And that's just sunrise. It doesn't even really get bright until after the sun really goes up. So just think about that. You know, I'm not arguing either way. Just just think about those impacts.